Okay, welcome back. I am... I'm going to continue working on this. It is... I'm going to replace this seal. I'm going to actually putty this up with uh, uh, JB Weld. I'm going to change this gasket and these crush washers. And I'm going to change the gasket for the oil pan. The oil pan nut down here. Oops. Let me just tilt the camera a little bit. Is really chewed up. I'm going to replace that. I cannot get it off. But I need to replace the gasket here anyway, so I'm going to replace the gasket. And I actually, off camera, I was pressurizing the uh, compartment to try to find out where it was leaking at. And I kind of think it was leaking at the main seal, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did. And so, let me, let me change the camera angle a little bit. But I am going to What I'm going to do is, I just want to pressurize the, uh, I want to pressurize the uh, crankcase to see if it's leaking. So I'm going to, I'm going to hook up my air hose to here and see if I can get it to blow out somewhere. I'm going to cover up this hole here. So let's see if any oil comes up. What I see is actually a bubbling around the main seal. It was bubbling. I, I mean, I popped out the main seal a little bit, but it was bubbling around it. So... So, so I am going to just change everything here. So that just makes life easier for me. Um, and what I'm going to do is kind of take off the oil pan right now. And... And take, I mean, like the main oil seal. I've actually already kind of like gotten that out. So, if you just gently pry it out, and when I say gently, you really don't have to pry it much. This one was super easy to get out. And I guess I'm not that jazzed by this seal for some reason. It looks different than the one I have. I'm going to inspect around here to make sure I don't have any gouges in this. Um, and then I'm going to install a new one. So... I guess I'm going to start on taking off the um, oil pan. So let me reset the camera, and so I will get you set up shortly. Okay, I'm going to start by taking off the oil pan. And like I said, I cannot get off that. And so I'm going to have to... Okay. 
I am probably going to vapor blast this as well. Um, I might as well. And I'll have it off, so why not? This is really where I miss my power ratchet. I used to have one. Well, it broke. And I haven't gotten another one yet. Um, obviously, I'm going to chase the holes out as well. And in this case, I'm just curious about how much oil is left in here. You know what? I have an air tool, so let me get my air tool. Okay, I got my air tool. Let's see how this works. Thank you. 
that should be it. Okay. So that is the um, just the Bagasca make of it. Oh, stand by. Okay, we are back and got the gasket on it. for these things are like thicker like seven pounds they're super tiny um I'll torque those down, but those are probably seven pounds already. The next is the um, the next is the oil breather tube, and this is this installs. Like that, I've got to put the little thing on, but and this fits in where should I put that on? Okay. 
So there are two aluminum crush washers. I actually just put them on here so I didn't lose them. So I have the first one here. And then up here and once I get these installed I'm going to install the uh, the uh, sump the sump pan Next is this. And that is a it's too small actually. I need a 17 socket. So let me get my torque wrench and so the um, the oil is 29 pounds so that little oil um, uh, that little oil bolt the little oil almost like a banjo bolt is 29 pounds So, I'm actually going to start torquing it at, I'll just do it start at 20 pounds. So there's 20 pounds right there. So I'm just gonna pop up to 29 right now. Okay. 
Okay. We're good to go there. So, the next is the um, oil pan. So, I'm going to chase out those threads first. So, stand by. Let me go get the uh, um, the tap. <laughs> 